Hey friends, I'm bald now! But that's not the biggest news I have to share. Over the past few days, I've been experiencing severe diarrhea, and I wanted to talk to you about the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. What? Is that not what I'm supposed to? No, that's not what we were discussing today. Oh. Hey friends, sorry about that, some technical difficulties. Um, what I want to talk to you about is my Microsoft Surface and how I can control it with my eyes, like some sort of lizard. I use an eye tracking camera called the Toby Eye Tracker 4C. This can only be used with a Windows 10 computer, and I'll show you how we do that. So once you buy the Toby, it's the little bar you see at the bottom. It has three infrared lights that follow my eyes and it plugs into the USB on your computer. I use it on my Microsoft Surface. It mounts with a magnet that attaches to the back of the camera and then sticks to the bottom of your monitor. When you first get it, you want to play around with the setup on your computer and make sure it's in a good spot. It sort of needs to be centered with you and where your head and where your body is. So make sure that the middle red light is directly down the center of your body. So after you plug it in, you want to go to your settings in your Windows 10 PC. And then you want to go to ease of access. And as you can see, something to notice is I'm barely using my mouse. One of the cool things about this is I just look where I want the mouse to move and I just barely move the mouse in that direction and the cursor on the computer will jump to where my eyes are. So jump over to ease of access, click. But we can do it other ways too, which I'll show you. And then you're gonna go down to eye control beta and you're gonna turn this little switch on. And then what will happen is this bar at the top will pop up. If you can see, there's a little red dot moving around. That's my eyes. That's what I'm looking at. Okay, and these are all the things you can do on Windows 10 eye tracking. I'm not going to look at it or else it'll select it. But the first option is to move the bar up and down. The second option is left click. The third is right. The fourth option is a more accurate mouse. You can move it around and then select where you want a mouse. You can move it up, down, left, or right. You can left click once, right click once, or double, double click. Fourth option is to scroll through web pages. Fifth option is a keyboard. Uh, the keyboard is predictive. And you can see as I hover over each letter, I just dwell on it for a certain amount of time, and we'll get to how you change that. It's also predictive too, and the keyboard can be at the bottom, or it can be on the top. The next option is a text-to-speech, so if you have problems speaking, this can use as a communicative board um, for people who have verbal or communicative issues that can't talk. They can type it out, I'll say, um, Go away, mom. Play it. Go away, mom. Uh, At least I wasn't fired this time. <laughs> Next option is to open up like your Windows controller where you can see all your apps. Next option that would only be on like a touch screen is to go to tablet mode if you have a Surface. Um, then. The option after that is to recalibrate your eyes to the camera. That will happen when you initially plug it in. You'll have to go to a setup and you'll have to play this little game where you'll look at dots. Actually, let's do that right now so you can see it. So just hover over it. Take some time to open up. These are your eyes. Look at each dot until it explodes. Stare at it. I don't think I'm training for the CIA. I gotta play a game for like mental aptitude. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Last one. Remember when you first got it and you tried to push and tap on the screen with your eyeballs? You were training? 
I looked at your cartoon character with my eyes were like popping out of my head. I was trying to like touch the computer with my eyes. You just have to relax and act naturally. Alright, then the option after that is settings. This is where you can slow down or speed up the dwell time. Your dwell time is how long you have to look at something before it's selected. So there's two options. There's dwell time for typing and mine's set to the fastest. And then there's general dwell time which is selecting anything else. See, now I just put on the slowest. So now I have to look at something a little bit longer, slowest, I think it, and then fastest. See how, see how quickly it selects it now? I like it on fastest. Gaze cursor is what I was talking about before, where I can look at any part of my monitor and then move the mouse slightly if you can use a mouse and it'll jump to where I'm looking. All right, shape writing. So if you have some sort of Android phone, uh, all of them have this. It's that bottom right next to the FN. See how I select it? It looks like a little squiggly S. Uh, select that. And then what you do is you have to select the first letter of the word, hover over all the rest, and then select the last, le the last letter, and it will predict what word you're trying to write. I'm going to type the quick brown fox jumped over the moon. The Quick brown fox jumped over the no. See how fast that was? I don't know why it capitalized quick. Oh, row three. So now we can go back. Just on the top left. You have a delete, it deletes the whole word, and just retype it again, and then select it from down there. Other things you can do on a keyboard, control, there's numbers and letters and symbols. You can press FN to get to arrows, to press all the F buttons, to escape, tab, page down, end, page forward, redo, undo, all of those. You can get to the talking board from here. That's my dog's butt behind me. Can you see it? Now she's digging my couch. Lovey, can you not dig? Excuse me. We're making a video. Um, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, she lied down. There she is. Good girl. Lovey, you're in the shot. Now let's show you how it operates on web pages. So I'm not going to use my mouse at all, so you can see what I'm doing right now with, with just my eyes. So I select the option for the mouse, look down, and then use the arrows to, to pinpoint what I wanted to select, which is the internet. Let's do the Twitter. We all know we live on Twitter, well some of us do. And I want to go to Twitter because I want you to follow me, because I tweet awesome stuff. And you can see what I'm talking about. Select Twitter. That was all with my eyes. And then we're gonna use the option at the top to scroll through. So you can place it anywhere on your screen. It'll dwell. And then you just use that down button to scroll through. See how easy it is? Anything can be scrolled through. Any web page, Word document. I use my eye tracking for almost everything on my Surface. That's the main reason why I bought a Microsoft Surface. I can write my novels. You all know I'm a writer, and one day you're gonna buy them, or I'm gonna force you to buy them. I'm gonna come to your house, I'm gonna deliver you a book, and I'm gonna make you read it. I use it to obviously check my fantasy team. Today's the first Sunday of the 100th NFL season. Comment below with any assistive technology you use that makes your life easier. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, be different, leave a trail. I see you, I see you, I see you.